White Rastafarian. B2 Highball, five stars. John Long did the first ascent. A JT Mega Classic. Climbing a jaw dropping overhanging a ret line with a prominent flake slash crack system ripping straight up it. A procession of jugs will lull you high above the ground before abruptly ending, cruelly, leaving you high and dry at a thin seam. A gaping jug flake dangles out in space like a carrot on a stick, just out of reach. In 2014, some pansy wankers moved the menacing five foot diameter boulder from its home beneath this boulder problem. Is that what I'm sitting on? Yep. At some new climbing area, this might have been acceptable, but not at Josh. Literally thousands of climbers over the course of four decades had risen to the challenge of ascending this route in its natural state. In a joint effort between the local climbing community and the National Park Service, the boulder was restored as meticulously as possible to its original location and orientation. Enjoy! 23 feet tall, with a menacing boulder below. It's not that menacing. It's definitely pansy wankers yeah. moving this, yeah. if they're that scared. Yeah, pretty much world class, I'd say. It was just perfect. That is all. World class. World class down climb, too. So good. It's nice. Doesn't get better than that. Shoutouts to um, all the uh, old school climbers, John Long, John Backer, uh, Lynn Hill, um, and all of their contemporaries. Shoutouts to the pansy wankers who moved this boulder, go die, in a pit. And shoutouts to the climbing community and the National Park Service for putting it back. It's really not even in the fall zone, so...